Alright, this video is going to show you how to pot mod a green eBay laser. Um, I've actually already pot modded this one, and I went through all the steps, but I had the camera set on time lapse, so uh, there's no audio and it's really fast. Uh, but I'll go through all the steps anyway, just for instructional purposes. Alright, the first thing is there is a seal of glue all the way around this rim. Uh, I've already cut it, but when you get the laser, it is there's absolutely no space between it. You just have to kind of grind into it. Go all the way around, I'd say, two or three times to be safe. And be careful to not cut your finger off. Uh, it's better with an X-Acto knife, but all it has is this little uh, pocket knife. But yeah, if you, you cut around, all the way around, and then you can pull out your vice grips. Place one vice grip, that, and now it won't move, or it won't move very much. And you take your second one, and you grip uh, fairly high on the silver part, uh, making sure that you don't grip it, you know, right here, because it'll actually crimp the black part to the silver part and make it... Uh, bend it and make it damn near impossible to get off. So, uh, twisting motion and pulling. And that was really easy because I've already pot modded this one, but uh, you twist it and twist it some more and it'll eventually come off. I haven't found a way to do it without getting some superficial scratches on it. Uh, but that could be avoided if you have some rubber tip to vice grips. Uh, if you have rubber bands that will survive vice grips, um, that would work. But my vice grips are too sharp. My vice grips always just cut through the rubber bands and they fall off. Uh, so once you're at this point, the laser diode and the driver board are just kind of sitting freely in the tube. The silver cap over there actually holds it in. And this is the driver board. Uh, there's the button, the spring, and all the connectors and everything. And there's the potentiometer. Alright, like I said, I've already pot modded mine, uh, so if I turned it any more, it might do damage to it. Uh, I'm going to turn it just a little bit more to show you which way to turn it. It's clockwise right for people that don't know their how to read an analog clock. You just turn it. I, this is, I'd say, the maximum. It was 45 degrees turned that way. And so I've turned it 45 degrees to the right already. Uh, it's like, let me state again. It started, turned one quarter of a rotation to the left. Uh, I wouldn't recommend turning it anymore because it will overload your diode and probably burn it out. Pot mining any laser reduces the life of the diode uh, significantly, but for the price of these things, I think it's a pretty good investment, actually. And then from this point, you have to fish the button back into its hole. I'm trying to do it by the cameras. Okay, there we go. And the best way to know which way to put it in, because it's easy to forget, uh, the button is the far end, and you can look at mine, which has all the scratches, um, which is the farther end. And when you put it back in, you want to make sure the button is lined up with the button. So you just slide it back in. And you'll feel a little resistance where the button touches the button aperture. You can look in. Well, I have the styrofoam, but when the styrofoam's not there, you can look in to make sure. But pretty much as long as it clicks, it's in the right place. And then to put the cap back on, you really just have to manhandle it and uh, just push really hard. And that's one reason that I like to take the styrofoam out, pushing the when you're
pushing the uh, driver board and the laser back in, the spring can push up against the uh, styrofoam and it might actually break off because that is definitely the weakest point of the laser. It's where the spring is attached to the board. It's extremely easy to break off. And when you have the styrofoam out, you can look inside and make for sure, make sure that the button is totally lined up, totally lined up with the other button. Try and not turn it when you're putting the cap back on. Once you get the uh, battery part back on, it's pretty much easier to shove it as hard as you can. There we go. And then all we have to do left is take the battery thing, screw that back on. There you have it, a uh, pot-mitted laser.